Welcome to Jetta's Craft Cottage. Today we're going to cover a cushion for a boat. My son is going to help me on this project. So let's get started. This is what you will need. You'll need some marine vinyl. We chose white, but there are a variety of colors and I got these at one of the fabric stores. A pencil, ruler and scissors. A staple gun with staples upholstery thread and leather needles for the sewing machine. This is the original cushion. You can see uh, it's got a lot of cracks here on the vinyl. I'm sure a lot of this dirt could have been cleaned up, but the cracks are something we couldn't fix. So we're just going to take the whole thing apart and see what's inside. We already took all the staples out. There are hundreds and hundreds of staples just because the more staples there are, the less chance the vinyl will rip. So we took all the staples out, it had this half inch piece of plywood that was painted at one point. One of the boards actually completely crumbled when we took it apart, but this one was pretty intact. I used this one to make the uh, stencil for the uh, other two seats. And then inside we have the three inch foam in two different sections. The cover so we're going to be replacing this and we're going to just reuse this to keep it easy. Originally we were going to use the cover as a template and take out the seams and and just draw around on the vinyl but it was too stiff and it was hard to make a good template out of it so we're going to show you how we did it. We are reusing the foam that was inside it because it was in pretty decent condition although I took a steam cleaner and I steam cleaned all the sides really slowly and the steam helped puff it up about half of an inch just to restore it to a little bit closer to new. The new cut pieces that I cut be exactly like the other one although I went with three quarter inch and I used sandy plywood which is supposed to be better for marine uses for heat and water and just, uh, it will just prevent itself from decomposing. So the next thing we did was we assembled the seat upside down, the vinyl first, then the cushion, and then the seat, so this is the bottom of the seat. And then we did a rough cut around it, just making sure that if no matter how we pulled it, we would get some vinyl fabric on the wood from all corners. Then I just roughly went to the corner and tried to split the difference of the corner, drawing a line here, which would be just a cut line right to the edge. Then to just find out where the sew line was, just would fold this up, try to find the edge here, and then take I took it down which is just like that. I use this ruler to just help me keep the, preserve the angle. Just do a line like that. I did the same thing on this side because I wanted it to also line up with this seam. So once we drew those lines that matched the angle that we wanted, we just, that was our, we cut it right on the line and then what we're going to do is we're going to make our sew line, which we just gave it a half of an inch and just made some dots to know where to sew the line. And now I'm going to take these to this sewing machine and you'll see what happens next. I have finished sewing the seams on all four sides and you can see it was actually very easy to sew on this vinyl with the thread. So you've got a nice clean seam on all four sides so we're ready to actually attach it to the foam and the boards. We're going to lay the foam into the cushion and we're going to snug it right in. We're just going to do a quick spray with this Loctite spray adhesive. It's for a lot of surfaces and it's water and heat resistant. 
We sprayed the board outside and now we're going to spray the cushion. We're going to put another coat on both the wood and the cushions. To carefully insert the board to the cushion. Now we're going to staple the the vinyl to the board. We're going to do it like we're stretching a, a painting canvas. We're going to go from side to side and then front to back. Continue around the whole piece so it is nice and snug. We've gotten a few pleats in this. I'm going to cut the, with scissors, the corner where there's a big pleat, and then we're going to stretch that. So it takes a little bit of finagling, but if you just go slowly and go inch by inch, you can get all the creases out. And it looks pretty good for the front. And um, since we didn't have a pneumatic stapler or, or an electric stapler, some of them are sticking out a little bit. So. We're just uh, getting all of them flat. One thing we noticed was that the vertical staples tend to not hold as well as horizontal. Um, and now what we're just going to do is cut a little black fabric frame around here just to cover the staple work. So we have a backing for the seats. This is the old backing. It's pretty dirty and ripped up. We could use it again, but we just want it to look a little bit fresher. So. Uh, we don't know what it was made out of, but it looks a lot like landscape fabric. So we just took a little piece of landscape fabric, folded it in half because we have two of these to make, so that way we can just cut it once. So we just took the original one, pinned it around, and then we're just going to cut it. We're going to cut like just a tiny bit wider just in case. We have placed the landscape fabric on the back of it, and we did some folds so it has a nice little crease on it. We stapled every inch to inch and a half around the edge and now it has a nice clean finish. This is what the cushions look like on the boat. The old cushions look like the backrest you see there which we're gonna have to redo eventually but the new cushions look brand new. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.